All right, so it's been a really busy start to the year. About a month or so ago, I was in Mississippi checking out my friend Jonathan Burns' insane collection of matchless amplifiers and other really cool gear, callings, clons, the whole deal. He's got it all, and that was a really fun video to make. And shortly after that, I was in Chicago hanging out with my friend Zach Moore, checking out his kind of studio production collaborative space, some of his tips on production, and some of the things that inspire him. So you should definitely check out that video as well. But I finally called a day off and I've finally gotten around to making this video. And in today's video, I'm taking you through a few of my non-negotiable gigging essentials. These are things that I have in usually a couple of cases just to make sure they get to every gig. These are things that I use all the time, at least on a weekly basis. So I really, really am excited for this video also because as a thank you for hitting a thousand subscribers, I'm going to give you a chance to win all of it. So I'm giving all this stuff away. This video was not paid for and sponsored, but all of this gear was given to me strictly for the purpose of this giveaway. I didn't keep any of it for myself. It's all going to you guys, again, as a thank you. But if you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe because that's gonna be a prerequisite. If you haven't made a YouTube account, make an account, it'll take you two minutes and you have really, really good chances of winning this giveaway because frankly, there's probably not gonna be that many people in or in. So I'm gonna jump into the video, show you all this stuff and stay tuned till the end to hear how you can win all of it. So the first thing on this list that I'm giving you a chance to win is a pair of slides from Rock Slide. I've got a brass version and an amber glass version. Now I started using Rock Slide about seven years ago when I got my first one and it completely changed the way I played slide. I'd played slide before with some of the cheaper big box store options, but they were really thin and didn't really, to me, sound or feel that good. These have a couple of additional cutouts and they're tapered on the inside and have a good weight to them. They're not too heavy, but it feels really solid when playing and they're not really even that much more expensive than regular slides. So I definitely recommend Rock Slide. I've been a user for seven years and they're an absolute essential for anybody that's doing rock or blues or country. Now, even if you don't play those styles of music, I also use these a ton doing ambient music and kind of film scoring type stuff. And the reason is a lot of classical instruments like violin, viola, and cello don't have frets. So they can hit all of the notes kind of in between notes. As guitar players, we can only really do that if we're bending or if we're playing slide. So if you haven't already played around with that, just kick on your favorite delay and reverb, really drench it, play some slide, and have some fun. All right, so the next thing on the list is a pair of capos from Paige Capo. Now, capos, I think, are an absolute essential for a few reasons. Number one, they allow you to do all of the chords that you already know, your big open G and C and E minor chords that sound so great, but now you can do them in any key. They also allow you to play chord voicings that may inspire you in a different way just because you haven't played them before. I can capo at the third fret and play stuff really high up on the neck and still utilize open strings in various keys which is really, really helpful. Now the reason I love page capos is because the intonation is more accurate, I think, than most of the clamp style capos that I've used. And that's because the pressure is applied directly from the back as opposed to clamping on one side which can tend to pull some strings out of tune. Now another thing I love about these is that they store at the base of the headstock slightly behind the nut really easily. These can travel in cases and you can just leave them on your guitars and never take them off. And it makes it really easy to use it for one part of a song and then store it back behind the nut if you want to then get to some of the lower frets that were otherwise capoed off. It's really hard to do with a clamp style capo unless you just literally throw it on the floor when you're done with it. Really thankful to Paige Capo for being part of this giveaway. They're my favorites. I've been using them for about four years now and they're an absolute essential for me. So if you're a gigging guitar player, then you've probably been in the situation where you had to use an amp or gear that you didn't necessarily love. Either it was a crappy beat up house amp, or if you flew to a gig, maybe you're having to use a backline amp and they didn't give you what you requested, or you had to use another band's gear altogether. So it's really important to have some type of tone shaping EQ boost overdrive that you know that you can dial in and make the amp at least serviceable. So for me, one of those pedals is the preamp 
from Norton Pedals. Now this is a pedal that I've done a demo of, so if you're interested in what it sounds like, you can check it out here. But essentially, it's got a boost, kind of a dirty boost on one side that's got a ton of volume, and it's also got a true overdrive that can get into some distortion territory on the other side. It has a presence control on that, so you can really dial in how much bite it's got, and it's got a master tone and body control. The body control for me is really helpful when using amps I'm not certain about because it allows me to dial in the mid-range character of my sound. And as we know, guitars live in the mid-range, so that's a really important control to have. And again, what's better than a free one? This is a great sounding pedal. You should definitely check out Norton Pedals. All of these companies will be linked down below. Check out that demo if you haven't heard this one, but I think a preamp, some kind of sculpting style pedal is an absolute essential for any gigging guitar player. Even though this may kind of be a given and seem maybe even a little bit mundane, I think it's really important to have guitar picks that you love. Now, if you've only ever used the same style of pick, same thickness and shape, you're really kind of missing out. There's a variety of materials and finishes that you can get that make a big difference. Now, some of my favorite personally are gravity picks. I've got quite a few of my favorites in here. The 003 is their take on what is one of my favorite picks ever, the small red jazz pick that we know and love. They've also got the classic in here in 1.5 millimeter, which is again, my favorite thickness. That tends to be about as thick as I go, but we've got a couple in here that are a little bit thicker and a little bit thinner, made from their gold series material that are definitely worth checking out as well. If you haven't ever used different sizes and thicknesses, it really can make a big difference in feel and your tone, especially when recording, but even when playing live. A lot of times I will switch picks kind of depending on how bright or dark I want the tone without having to go back to my amp or to get a specific sound. So big fan of Gravity Picks. Thanks to them for letting me give some of these away. It's quite an assortment of about eight picks and I think you'll really, really like them if you haven't tried them already. So the next thing on this list is something that I've never really used that much, and especially not in the past eight or nine years that I've been playing more professionally, and that is a headstock tuner. Now, for most of us that have pedal boards, it may seem a little redundant because headstock tuners are typically not as accurate as pedal tuners and certainly not as convenient since I can mute my signal and tune and a lot of tuners now will allow you to even do different tunings or something like the polytune will allow you to tune multiple strings at once. But something like a headstock tuner has saved my tail many times. This lives in my guitar toolkit that stays in my backpack. And if you want to see a breakdown of that, let me know in the comments below. And even just the other night after my first set, I broke a string on my Gretsch, which is the worst guitar to break a string on because it has a Bigsby. So then that one string breaks, the tension's thrown off, it throws all my other strings out of tune. And I only had five or six minutes backstage to restring it and get it in tune. Luckily, I had this in my backpack because we've all used the really annoying phone tuners and those tend to not be that accurate, but this was an absolute lifesaver. So I think something like a headstock tuner, an absolute essential, even if you're a gigging pro and have multiple pedal tuners or multiple pedal boards, because you never know when you're gonna wanna have a quick tune up backstage or have to fix something on the fly and your pedal board's gonna be nowhere to be found. So headstock tuner, absolute essential. Now this is something that if you're not a gigging musician, you may not have realized the importance of yet, but good cables go a really, really long way. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was teaching one of my students at Sanford University in a private lesson, and he had some noise coming from his pedal board. We were trying to figure out what it was. He thought it was his compressor, but it was a couple of really bad cables. And when I say really bad, I mean if you just flicked the housing on it a little bit, it had a horrible crackling noise. So good cables go a long way. Again, if you've been sitting in your bedroom, you may not know what you're missing, but inevitably cables will fail, so you should have backups. But backups become less necessary if you've got great soldered cables. Solderless cables are fine. There are kits that are decent, but soldered cables are always, always more reliable. And if you're changing out pedals all the time, or again, your pedal board's getting thrown around by you or roadies or moved around on stage, then having good soldered cables is really, really important. 
Andrew Shabilla from Analog Endeavors has agreed to donate a few cables, which I'm really thankful for, as well as some merch for this giveaway. He's been a guy that I've gone to for years for little utility boxes. I use his dual favorite switch on my pedal board that you'll have seen as well. And he's a really, really great guy. He's also a great musician, has an awesome ambient project that you can check out as well called Ambient Endeavors. And I'm really stoked to be giving those away because good cables, go a really, really long way. So in addition to all of this stuff that I think is an absolute essential if you're a gigging guitar player, I'm going to give you the chance to win a private lesson with me and my Kemper profile packs. Now we're going to do two winners. The grand prize winner will be the first name that I pick and they will win the bulk of this stuff. But second place, not too bad either. I'll also send you a slide from Rock Slide and a capo from Page Capos and one of their koozies because that was super cool of them to send out. I'll also give you my Kemper profile packs if you are a Kemper user. Now, this is really important. This is what you need to do. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, the first thing you need to do is like this video and subscribe. Of course, you have to have an account to do both of those things. You also need to comment on this video and you need to comment your Instagram handle. So the second part of this, you're going to want to follow me over on Instagram at the underscore Riggs Taylor, and you will see a post about the 1000 subscriber giveaway over there. You need to like that post, follow me and comment. And that's it. If for some reason you don't have an Instagram account, you can get in touch with me on my website and send me your name and just comment on this video, your name, and that will enter you in as well. So super thankful for all of the support I've gotten over about the past year and a half of creating this channel and making these videos. This has been a really big milestone for me. And again, I'm not getting anything from this, but I'm really, really thankful for all of the companies involved for sending stuff that I can give you guys. These are products I believe in and I wouldn't be giving them out any other way. So thanks so much for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.